Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Richard. Richard? Yep. I might remember a couple of them. <laughs> That's my step. Uh, damn, my man, he's working here. Good. 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 Request of the family, this will be a private internment, but the family is going to stay here for a while and continue to visit. So be sure and speak with them. Are they going to walk in with the family?
Everybody will stand. you have 
been saying, so much has been said to people. This is going to be us one day. This is going to be us. We don't know how it's going to happen. We don't know when it's going to happen. But the main thing is to be ready. And no regrets. No regrets. If I should have a topic today, that would be my regret, uh, be a sermon of regret. In our lives, we have regretted a lot of things. Did I do enough for mom? Did I do enough for dad? Did I do enough for husband? Did I do enough for uh, wife, children? <coughs> Regrets. <clears throat> Regrets. But one thing we know, certain, it's coming. It's coming our way. <laughs> Unless the Lord turns, returns back. Today, Lewis, it's gone on. And I've been with the family at least 60 years. And I've seen and watched each one. I watched Dale grow up. When Dale was small, I had a baby, and Dale got the baby's bottle. But that was just seemed like yesterday, yesterday. As Lewis was yesterday. But yesterday's gone. It's what we're doing today. Doing today with our lives. No regrets. Because the Bible tells us that uh, the fifth Ten Commandments, it is, let's read it. The fifth one, it says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. It's appointed unto man once to die. Then after that, the judgment day. Will we hear him say, well done? Or will we hear him depart from me? I never knew you. That would be a regret if I hadn't made it right with God. Because I don't want to have to hear him say, depart from me. A regret that Lewis spent years, Marge spent years praying, praying. For their families, their friends, their neighbors had prayed for be a regret. They didn't make it. But they were Lewis wants his people, his loved ones, his children, his neighbors, families to make it. He he could look down and talk to us right now. He said, I will walk in the streets of gold. I've not got no regrets. I've made it. I've made it. Hallelujah. And it's peaceful. We're living in a day and time we don't know if we're going to walk out them doors alive or not. We don't know if we're going down the street and be alive. We're not appointed. Death is coming. Death is coming to us all. But it pays to be ready and no regrets. I can look back on my life. Yeah, I've got some regrets, but they're under the blood of Jesus now. God will make it better. Do better. No regrets. Lewis is saying, family, friends, neighbors, make it. Make it without any regrets. Because it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place and all oh, the, the streets of gold, the crystal river. Jesus is right over there waiting on us. Jesus is waiting on us. And one day we're going to be like Lewis. Gone. Gone. But all we have is those memories. <coughs> and as I saw the little picture on that the, uh, little handout that People gagging, the man gagging. I saw Lewis on a motorcycle. I got on the back of the motorcycle with Lewis one time when they lived at Pelzer. I got on the back and he took me a ride. 
I remember that. Lewis was full of life, full of life. But one thing, hallelujah, when Lewis prayed, you know Lewis prayed a prayer. You know he prayed till he touched heaven. And then the good Holy Ghost and fire came down and just flooded his soul. Flooded it. Because he had the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord in his heart. And oh, it's a wonderful thing to know that God is on our side. He was on Lewis's side. Many times Lewis had to pray and help uh, Margie, his wife, beautiful lady, Dale's mama. Oh, hallelujah. Beautiful people. My heart, I miss them this morning. I miss them. But I want to stay faithful to God that I can see them, that I can see Jesus most of all. And that's what Lewis would tell us today. Be ready. Be ready and come where I'm at. Oh, hallelujah. And then he said in Psalms 31 and 3, For thou art my rock. Sometimes you're going to feel like you're so alone. But go to that rock, which is higher than we are. Jesus Christ was Lewis's rock, was Marge's rock, Anne's rock, William's rock, James's rock. They knew when they heard, they could call on God. They knew they had something bothering them. Call on God. I'm so glad we got a Father that loves us that much this morning. God loves us. He loves every one of you today. But He don't like singing. He don't like ugliness. And the world is full of it. But let us be separated from the world. Be separated and represent Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He gave it all for us. Now let's give it all back to him, our lives, and serve him like Lewis did. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful day it's going to be when we all get together again. Get together in our brand new home as Lewis is in his brand new home now. Dale, he's waiting on you. Oh, you got a big old family waiting on you, Dale. Hallelujah. And Denise, a precious wife. I want to thank the Lord for her and Dale, how they stood by, stood by Lewis. They stood by Margie. They stood by Anne. They were there, there many times. Through the sickness, they both sick. But God's got your number. God's got a reward for y'all for that. God loves you. Love him back. Love him back. Love God. Oh, hallelujah. Honor thy father and thy mother, that the days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Not only mothers and fathers, family, have no regrets in loving them one, one another. Do what you can while we have the strength and while we're alive. Give them, be that helping hand like Jesus says, a helping hand to one another and love one another. Oh, that's what it's all about, is loving God, loving family, loving people. Serving. Look to God this day for your strength in Him. Strength in Jesus today. And then you can say, I have no regrets. I have no regrets because I've made it through. God bless each one of you. It's my prayer today. <laughs> Denise and Dale, love them. Love the family, one another. God loves us all. No regrets. May God bless you. Let's pray. Our fathers, we come to you today thanking you, God, for this beautiful day to honor Lewis, to lift him up and the families too, God.
We know that he's in the arms of the loving master today. Now I pray strength for each one. Lord, I pray salvation if someone don't know you saved from God. And let us look to you and say, from on out, I'm going to serve you, God. I'm going to serve you. I want to be found faithful and loving you. In Jesus' name, be with us today. Thank you. Amen. God bless you.
go to that house, and we would, and and we before we leave, we would, we would pray, and he would have himself a time. And I enjoyed being around Pop. I loved Pop. Loved him from the first day I ever met him. I loved him. But he said he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Today he's not hurting no more with that pain that was in his body. He's not hurting. Today, he's beside those still water, brother Kevin. Today, he's, he's without pain today. You and I today, we're here, we're celebrating his homegoing. It's not, it's not goodbye for Christians, but it's his homegoing. Right. One of these days, you and I leave here, it's going to be our homegoing if we're, if we're got the master on our side. He's got, the master has got to leave. If there's anything I can say about Pop today, and I have to call him Pop because I don't know him. I, I never known him as Brother Lewis. I never called him that. But it's Pop. And if there's anything I can tell you, Pop would tell you today, hey, I'm in the arms of Jesus. You ain't got to worry about me no more. Don't, don't worry about me. Don't cry, cry. Don't cry no sad tears for me today because you know what? I'm where I wanted to be. It took me, ever how old he was, 80-something years old, whatever it was, it, it, he lived for this day. That Sunday afternoon, Sunday morning or whatever it was when he slipped out, he lived for that day because you know why? He's gone to the other side. It's you and I that's going to make it to where he's at today. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Pop fear no evil for us. It is anything. Pop, Pop never fear no evil. Every time he'd go over at that house, he'd come out on the porch and he'd come on in, Brother David, come on in. I always tried to make sure that I at least seen them once a year, and it's around Christmas time. I always tried to go by and see them, and, 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 and got myself spiritually. I could be feeling bad, but when I meet Pop, yeah, he make me, we had a, the last time we was over, me and Sister Jeanette, and him and Margie, we had ourselves a time right there in their living room. If that living room could talk today, it would tell you some tales that this house lived with God. God was in this house today. He said, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. That rod, that rod that takes care. The rod that will take care of problems. If you're here today and you don't know God, if you're here today and you don't know Him, all you, today is a day of salvation. These altars are always open. Anybody who comes to our church, they're always open. And I'm sure they are Mother Catholics. But I'm here to tell you today, Pop is going on on the other side. Amen. Man, I tell you what, I'm, I'm happy up here today. I ain't crying no tears. I just am just a little bit jealous of it, though. And I, told, I, I tell people that come don't make it before I do. And it's going to shoot too, Brother Captain. If you make it before I do, I'm going to be mad at you when I get in there. I mean, I'll have to tell you that and apologize to you, but I will be mad until I get there. But it said, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thy anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Never a time did I see Pop, but his cup wouldn't run over. I went over last, I believe it was last Friday, I went over to see him. He was asleep. And I stayed there for about two hours and, and he never woke up. And I told Denise, I said, Well, I got I need to get on over to the house. And I started praying with him. I started praying for him before I left. All of a sudden his eyes came up. And I, I said, Well, hell, Pop, I'm getting red red leave. I said, I just prayed with you. And he said, I know, that's what woke me up is you pray. But and he was always, when you would, when, I, I, I've seen him, been over and sat by his bed. And he'd be praising the Lord. 
He'd be, he'd be praising the Lord. I don't care if you desire to see him or not. He was praising the Lord. If there's one thing I can say, Lewis Stone believed in the power of prayer. Many a prayer went up for 